Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo IdeaPad 3 laptop. The exact model is an 14 IGL05 and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to install your Windows fresh install on your hard drive. If you have upgraded the hard drive for any Lenovo, this video applies for any Lenovo laptop, doesn't have to be exactly the same model. And I made a video how to create your Windows 10 USB boot drive. I'll leave that link in the video description. But in this video, I'm going to cover on how you can install or boot up from here and how you can get up to your desktop. It's really easy, simple to do. Once you have your Windows 10 uh, created, first you need to have your charger plugged in. So make sure your charger is plugged in before you do anything. And you have a little bit of juice in the laptop. It's very important. So you want to plug in the USB inside any of the ports and then right away you want to power on the laptop. First when you power on the laptop you want to keep tapping on F12 until you get a menu for boot menu. It says boot option menu. So you have your Windows boot manager and you have your USB which will be mine is a Kingston data traveler. Yours might be different so you're going to choose your Go down and choose your USB and press enter. Now it's going to boot up and it's going to go through the uh, installation process. I guess the auto focus in here is really not good, but let's see. So let's leave it like this until we go to the installation process. Well, I like this laptop that it opens really back. So from here we want to choose next. It's going to be language and time and zone, doesn't matter, just click next, click install. And inside here is going to get some terms and licensing, click accept and make sure you read all this text, if you know what I mean. And then you want to click next. And from here you don't want to do upgrade, you want to do custom, install windows only, advanced, you want to click on that. And then right here, you're going to get a whole bunch of drives in here because they all say drive zero because it's only one drive. If you have an SSD drive, it will say drive one and drive zero. So you want to delete all the drives in here. So click on them and just click delete, delete until everything becomes one big drive until you can't delete anymore. So I just click keep clicking delete on this one everything and then one big drive shows up unallocated and I cannot even delete this one so once you're in this position you just want to click next and it's going to take the process and it's going to start installing depending on your CPU how fast it is and it's going to go through it probably takes up to five to ten minutes I'm going to fast forward this part it's going to restart a couple of times and it's going to take you to a welcome screen. So I'm, I'll be back right after it goes to the welcome screen. So, so it did few restarts during installation and right now it's 
Let's keep saying just a moment. It's going to take you to a, some configuration and it's very, very important how you choose these options. I'm going to show you the proper way of doing it so you don't get all those bloatware installed right away because most people, they follow the step exactly the way it is. And if you want the best, you shouldn't do it. And I'm going to cover what options you shouldn't activate until you are in the desktop. And if you don't want to get those extra garbage, everything installed, like Candy Crush stuff installed on a, a laptop. So let's wait for a, a welcome screen and a few options that is going to keep asking us. All right, we're going to get to the first one. Once you get a Cortana, you want to mute the Cortana on the bottom left. If your version has a Cortana, just mute it and wait a few seconds for it to do manual option. All right. So now we're going to wait for a Cortana to overwrite for manual. All right. And from here, it's going to get, choose your region, US or whatever region you want. Click next. On the next step, it's going to give you keyboard layout. Just click next. Yes, US keyboard. Escape. And in here, it's going to give you choose your Wi Fi connection or cable. You want to make sure you don't have a Wi Fi, you don't uh, put your Wi Fi connection and you do not connect your cable connection in here. You want to click I don't have internet. Even if you do have internet, just click I don't have internet. And in here, you want to click on a continue with a limited setup. These two are very, very like a crucial step. Then you want to put the name. I'm going to put this one is an Asus. I mean, Lenovo. Lenovo next. Password, I'm going to leave it blank. If you want to put a password, put a password. For now, I'm going to leave blank. And for this, all these options for location and everything else, I'm going to remove the check for all of them because I don't want them to share my location and advertisement ID, stuff like that. So I'm just going to remove all those checks and click accept and then click not now for a Cortana. That's really annoying. Now it should take me to desktop uh, easily to desktop after a few minutes. And once we are in the desktop, before we connect to internet, I'm going to show you guys what options you must remove. All right, now that we are in the desktop, pretty much we're going to click close this one. In here, I'm going to click the other options. It says maybe later. We want to go right away on the start menu. And this is what we want to get rid of. There's a whole bunch of them in there. We're going to remove all this arrow by clicking, right clicking, unpin from the start. As long as you unpin these ones from the start, they will not automatically download once you get an internet access. So that's the reason I do not connect to the internet because once you connect to the internet during installation, those Candy Crush, those all those uh, games, third party apps, everything gets installed right away. That's why I come here, I remove all those and then right after that, you can connect to the internet and go to a Windows settings and do a, all those updates that require for your driver. Click Windows Update and click uh, Scan Now and it's going to take about 20-25 minutes depending on your laptop and it's going to do all the updates and restarts until you get all the drivers installed and ready to go. Again, I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out to do a format or install the Windows on your Lenovo laptop. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and don't forget to click the like and subscribe to support the channel. And I'll see you guys in my next video.